guys, a very warm welcome back to Motobia Adventures. We're leaving Lake Garda this morning mm -hmm. and we're heading for Venice and mm. we're staying on the mainland. Exciting. Uh, yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. Um, just a couple of nights, but enough for us to go into Venice, hopefully take um, one of the uh, water taxis and I think we must do a gondola ride. Do they sell Cornettos? I don't know. Just one Cornetto? Just one. Or two? Just no, one. just one Cornetto, I think. Yeah, yeah. could be. Yeah. But anyway, join us. Short run, about 150 odd miles, I think, today. So not too bad. So hopefully, Italian traffic permitting, we'll get you down there and uh, show you some of the sites. We're staying at a campsite called Venezia Village, I think it is. But uh, I'll let you know more about that when we get there. Enjoy the trip. See you guys. to Venezia and uh, give you an idea, having never been on one before, what it's going to cost. So uh, if you have a look over here, you'll see the uh, stations here. It's a uh, take a ticket. Yeah, a bit uh, French-like. The key thing being, I wonder how much it will cost us to get to, uh, to Venice. This one in front of us as well. Yes. Right, Nikki's yes. got to do her balancing act yeah. out the window. So this is from Lake Garda to Yeah, Venezia. Lake Garda down to Venezia. Oh, it's always awkward. Oh, that sounded good. Sounded like a ticket machine. Oh, and that barrier went up first. Oh. First job done. I pressed the right button, that's good. <laughs> right, we'll just wait for Carol and Stephen. Not far now. Venezia on the horizon. We'll have done, um, we'll have done about uh, something like 82, 83 miles on the motorway, so We've just, uh, we're only about uh, 14 miles away from, uh, from our campsite, so we be interested to see what that will cost in the end, around about 80, 90 miles of uh, Italian motorway. So, having uh, put my ticket in and uh, paid my card, so from Lake Garda to um, the outskirts of Venice, that cost us £10.02, um, which is not bad, so it was the mileage. No, it's about, um, it was probably just shy of 90 miles, so yeah, not too bad at all, that really. Um, And we're coming into Campin Venezia, which is sort of uh, an urban campsite, but it's convenient for Venice. Yeah, it looks like it on the map, doesn't it? It looks really, uh, looks really close. So, hoping to be able to just hop on a bus from here uh, to get into uh, Venice itself. Yes. Right. Let's go and find the check-in. Yes. Nice, lots of trees. So that's a good sign. Yeah. Well, and here we are. In Camping Venezia Vinage. And because we got here in about two hours, I'm not going to show you the campsite just yet um, because we're going to have had a quick bit of lunch and we're making a dash for Venice. We basically ended up with an extra half day that we didn't expect. So um, 
literally just out the gate here at the end of the site. As you can see there from the sign in front of us, Bus Venezia, that's, um, that's a bus stop for Venice itself to go across the uh, cross into the city and uh, we've got a couple of different buses that run every 15 minutes straight into uh, straight into Venice so that should be fun and yes you've guessed it it leads there and a bit of chorizo ready to go in after a hard day's toil on the water in Venice it would be rude not to have a little bar, wouldn't it? Sun setting, campsite where we're going to sleep in the not too distant future, but first of all, we need a bit of a barb. And so, it's pretty early morning. Well, it's about quarter past, half past six. We're gonna try and get away by eight this morning onto um, Plutovici National Park. So while it was dead quiet and nobody was around, this is the uh, the Gentian block, which uh, is just superbly done. These uh, the sort of shower cubicles, automatic lights come on, really nice, really nice rain showers. Separate cubicles, obviously for changing. Uh, one or two basin just basin areas like uh, either out or toilets you get your own little cubicle and sink just really nicely done that's what now Lake Garda and now here both uh, both really nicely done very well very well looked after facilities cleaned about four times a day Anyway, that's the, uh, and uh, so Nikki tells me in the ladies, that's uh, exactly the same type of setup. Very nice. And then round, um, round here, which is part of, there's uh, several of these blocks on the site here. That's the um, kiddie and baby change place. Then this in here, if we could get it. Yep. And these bits in here is where you've got your laundry and uh, your machines. There's an idea of the prices done by tokens. And there's the washing machine again, same price, five euros. I think you'll agree though, pretty smart. Oh, and some of the other facilities, a little pool there. Um, play area, they've got, um, I think just up here, is a little pizzeria place, which we didn't try because we ate in, uh, ate in Venice and or barbecued. Um, but uh, look very reasonably priced. In fact, that looks like a menu. Yep, doesn't look too bad, does it? Six or seven, six or seven euros for pizzas. That's very reasonable. Um, little bar area as well, which was just in there. And this was where we, uh, where we first came in, up to one of the uh, windows there. It's a couple of windows for check-in and uh, where we came in through the barriers. Then they've obviously got some of these chalets for rent as well, or bungalows as they call them. And then the vast majority of it seems to be set aside for, um, for motorhomes, caravans, uh, camping as well. Seen a couple of tents here. But as you can see, it's all pretty, pretty uh, nicely less laid out. Not masses of room between the pitches, but then again, 
I should think every single person here is off to um, is off into Venice. But uh, plenty big enough. Cater for any size vehicle. Some are sort of drive through pitches, so they cater for the huge ones. For your sort of nine meter plus rigs, you'd get in here okay. Nice orange color over there. And um, there's your service points. Gray dropout. And they've got these um, WC Chimique or Kimich, they are here for the dropout of your um, black water. Again, uh, you know, all nicely set out from a recycling point of view. Fresh water, uh, drinking water on sites here, and they also supply the uh, sort of length of hose um, if you didn't want to use your own. And then we're. Um, bit further down on the left, less than about 30 metres from the shower block, so that was absolutely great. And it's uh, it's been a really good little stop off and the perfect location if you're thinking about coming down here to, uh, to have a trip into Venice. A really good location. Uh, not sure what the electric was. It's got to be at least 10 when we ran the induction hob and one or two other bits without problem. Um, not sure if it's 16, but certainly more than enough to cater for a van. And uh, Rosie the Moho tucked up in Karen Stevens' van. Tucked up and ready for today's trip out down to Croatia. Fabulous. Some more of their little uh, little chalets, and uh, then there's another piece to it down here. That's the uh, we're just just about uh, ten vans along there, so that's what we were backing onto overnight. Dead quiet, really very calm, very peaceful night but you can see how close we are to to the urban hustle and bustle of, um, of Venice or landside of Venice city itself. Look at all these amazing little vans. Some right cracking ones here. Wow, look at this thing on the right. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That is absolutely amazing, I love that. <laughs> wow. More recycling. It's another cracking van, look at that. Couple more little bungalows. A little tent. And that's it, really. So plenty of room for you. Come on down, have a trip into Venice. Look at that sun coming up a bit more. Beautiful. So we thoroughly enjoyed our stay in uh, Venice. What an amazing city, absolutely amazing. So much to see, we have to come back. Thanks ever so much for watching, as always. Thank you guys. Thanks guys. Bye.